Welcome back to another episode of the Exalted Edge of Creation. Uh, they've gained allies? <laughs> question mark, question mark, explanation points. Well, they've gained allies. <laughs> they've gained allies. Well, they've gained, <laughs> I mean, I guess there is two allies that they have gained. And we're probably going to be breaking the party apart, even if we win. That remains to be seen. Yep. He does still have a minor intimacy. Of help the group. Or do you? Yeah. Okay. Tied to the circle. The, the three of a us. A minor tied to the circle, yeah. So, you, what's the plan? Well, I'm going to need feathers. Mm-hmm. Whether it's from Sova or if uh, he can provide them. Um, as it is his true form, he technically can. Um, disconnected from him, they remain what they are because that's what would normally happen with something that, that is what it is. Okay. Um, so yeah, he can do that. But what about the rest of the carcass? A couple of feathers could have been shot off. Hmm. Dug a hole, buried it. We have ash. Okay. I mean, presumably that shot would have burned the corpse. It certainly put a hole in it. Or the other option is to go and grab one of these fey infected and kill it. The problem with doing that is they're going to know it's a lie. Well, our enemies will know it's a lie. At least they will. Yes. Yes, they will want an enemy here. Okay. Yes, I uh, will go with that for now. What's the next step after we somehow are able to convince these fools that the Thunderbird's been burned to their death? Or the alternative is to not try to convince them of that. Try to convince them that it left? Or not mention it at all. Hmm. Yeah, why were we going to mention it anyway? What would we have gained out of it? Probably because they saw a very large man tearing me from the sky. Point taken. On the other hand, uh, if that big man weren't around to question, or if uh, maybe you said uh, something along the lines of it used its amount of magic to trick him into letting me go. The best part about that is it's not entirely false. He kind of rubs his neck. That's why I would like to have proof of something. Give us take the feathers and say it. What would you be your plan? I'll look to Belton. Belton? Well... Part of any good lie is always the truth. And I think if we don't have a corpse for them, they're not going to believe us. But, assuming they don't know what you are, then just telling them that it managed to overcome you with its great wit, rather than overcome him, he points at the door, won't be too much of a stretch, I believe. Mm-hmm. Plus, that's uh, kind of obvious. See, it is a good thing I left. <laughs> okay. Come with me to the palace. Okay. Isn't it like the middle of the night right now? No, it's, it's the, dawn, the sun's, the sun's coming up. up. Okay. Because it took, like... 
it was already late into the night when the whole thing started. Okay. And then he was running around the streets at breakneck speed yelling out Dalton. So that took a while as well for you guys to finally catch up with him. Okay. I hope I know. So that's the work we go. What do we want seafood to do? Cool off. Okay. We'll leave him be. I'm at the house crashed out. I just went to bed. <laughs> I'm done. Yeah. I'm content to leave you there. You're you're no good getting us into the library, I don't think. Probably not. Oh, I can get us into the library. Getting out. That's what he's afraid of. <laughs> I'll just open the door. You've seen me do it. <laughs> Getting out fully intact. No, that's not the question. I'm sure I'll be just fine. Questionable. There are two kind of gods, I think. Three. Okay. Um. Yeah. To the palace. Okay. Um, on your way there, uh, you see, um, sort of as the sun's coming up, a fire, uh, to the southeast, beyond the one that you guys put out. Hmm. And it seems to be a fairly big one, like it's roaring up in the air. It doesn't seem to be spreading out too much, but it is significantly tall. We see this as we leave the house? Yeah. You guys like something else on fire? That's not me. I promise. Yeah, and they're like... Uh, What's tall. over there? If I'm not mistaken. They're like... I'm checking, like, does this sort of thing. So that would be one of the cranberries. Yep. I look back at Delta and tell him, I did say the price of grain was going to go up. <laughs> you didn't lie. <sighs> okay. Well, that means we'd better hurry. It also means there might be fewer people in the palace to stop us. Good point. Let's go. How long of a travel okay. time is it up there? Uh, on foot, like 20 minutes at least. You guys are pretty much on the opposite side of town right now. Okay. I forgot. Do you feel personal first or peripheral? Um... Don't know. Off the top of my head. Because I know one of them charges first. Let's just do this. I think it would make sense if it was peripheral first. Peripheral pool or replenished before notes and personal. Okay. I figured it was that way. How many hours did we get? Well, we were there at the house an hour. Okay. Yeah. You were you were literally in, in this house for an hour and then. So, five an hour? We are receiving the checks. All right, yeah, let's go. Okay. You said it's a 20 minute walk? At least. I mean, that's that's uh, pushing it. We're going to have to walk quickly. Oh, I don't want to walk quite well. I have no interest in walking quickly because I want some of my essence to come back. <laughs> I mean, time is of the essence. But... <laughs> essence is of the time. Yes. <laughs> And you want to have some when you get there. Yes. Um, if you, you know. I mean, I'm not going to, I'm not going to say we're going to take an hour to get there, but like half an hour to get there would be okay. I mean, with grum possibly grumbling stomachs, you might convince somebody to stop for breakfast on the way there. And I mean, that would just be so like grabbing some churros off the street or something equivalent thereof. Hmm. I don't think they have churros here. They could. They would have some kind of pies or something. Shawarma. Meat pies. 
Yeah, meat pies. Yeah, it's not too bad. I mean, you, just living out here, you got to keep your calorie count really high. Mm -hmm. Um, get me gold. Yeah, we'll stop for breakfast. All right. You can get add another hour worth of essence before you get there. Oh, nope, I can't go that high. <laughs> Would you over? Oh yes, because you have so much committed. When you guys get to the palace area, the palace gates, uh, there is um, a, well, okay, let me back that up. You guys basically, to get there fast, you're going to have to go by the gate area um, and along that main avenue there along the wall. And uh, as you do, you hear a familiar voice. The tenants of the people have failed us. And he's going on and on. Um, I'm going to tap you. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll go take a look. Um, he has drawn a pretty significant crowd. I want you to pull your mask on. Look at him. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's why I said I'm going to go take a look. Okay. All right. So yeah, look. take a look. Yeah. Uh, he too um, many people are kind of recognizing this yeah. mask now. Go ahead and roll it. Uh, so this would be perception plus awareness or plus perception plus occult. Got a diamond. Right yeah. Specs and my XP on it. Your plus two for your mask. So I mean, okay, yeah. Uh, too many people. You've got are, your spiffy new outfit. Yeah. Well, the hat down. <laughs> yeah, true. Yeah, <laughs> I'll do. I'll do that. Yeah, but uh, too many people are recognizing this mask. Going, that's a super powered item. It's like, oh snap! I didn't think it would be that obvious. All right, so I'm gonna. Um, it, it requires the kind that can see certain things. Yeah, uh, just too many people are recognizing it. Yeah. So I'm basically back of the crowd, in an alley, looking and hiding. To get my view. Okay. Mm -hmm. That wasn't for a stunt. That was just in state. Just, just, just so that you don't stand out. Yeah. Okay. Three. Um. This guy's aura is strong enough that he can't just be mundane. Hmm. Beyond that, you're not a hundred percent certain. Well, you're not. Re you don't really know. Um, he, yeah, he definitely looks like his aura is too strong to be just a mundane person. But what he is, I don't know. Mm. But otherwise, he's 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 not solar. He's not lunar, and he's not one of the undead. Um, probably not. Well, he doesn't have the, the special whatever thing that's on there all those other people. Yeah, and it seems like it's been easier to see those people when they've they're not hiding it. Mm -hmm. But uh I mean like I like when I described um uh Gibbs, he seemed to be able to mute his aura. Mm -hmm. So it's possible that other people can too. Okay. Okay. This guy's still speaking out against the government, right? Okay, here's the weird thing. The way he's saying it doesn't seem to be breaking any tenets. Yet it still like seems that every word he says is a stab against the government. Even though the word, specific wording he is using doesn't seem to, to fit it, it still feels that way. And I mean, technically, the words he's the way he's saying it is even saying claiming that the people have turned away from their rightful um, rulership, and the and that's why these things are happening. Yes, but it, it never he never outright says like the immaculate belief or anything like that, and the way he says it, it always just seems subver subver subversive. Even though he's not saying subversive things, it always feels that way. Like there's meaning hidden in his words. Mm -hmm. Huh. Step out of the alley. Yeah. Don't know what he is, but 
Can I get a read on the crowd? Um, yeah, go ahead. That'll be a uh, perception socialize. Um, minus three for so well, no, you don't need a minus for this. You could see it on any given one of them. Five. That was close. I got one. Um, yeah, the, uh, the crowd is, is really into his rhetoric and what he's saying. Um, they haven't quite got up to swords, you know, um, uh, sorry, like, torches and pitchforks, but, um, you can see a lot of them are thinking and, uh, kind of ang and angry that he is working up a, a good low head of steam on these people. You want to talk them down and I'll make a fool out of them? Yeah. Well, yes, but no. <laughs> yes, but you don't have time. Yeah. All right. Let's go. Um, as you guys get they're up pretty to close the, to the gate, too. Huh? Uh, they're up to the main gate, yes. The main, the, the main northern gate, or the only northern gate in the wall. Who's guarding the wall right now? Brenda? Uh, the top of the wall is out of range. Yeah, you really well, think that there's right? people stationed inside oh, the wall, though. Um, yeah, there's people, yeah, sorry, there's people at the gate. Um, yeah, looking at them, uh, give me another perception court roll. I uh, know, you, you can get this one, you don't have to go for it. Um, there's a mix, um, but at this point it looks like, um, about 60, 40, um, not, uh, controlled or not, not, uh, in, um, so 40%, that green aura. 40%, yes, yes, monster, 60%, no. Yep. Okay. An alarming number. Right. Um, yeah. It's a number. Okay. Um, at the palace gates, so this was at the main gates, yeah. at the palace gates, um, there is a lot of activity. Uh, there's a number of people, like, there's basically a mob gathered and they're yelling, and the guards are, have formed a wall and are keeping them back. Um, there are they are currently in just like shield wall kind of formation with shields out and spear uh, spears are up right now, and so they're holding people back while somebody's trying to talk them down. Okay, what about this one? There you don't see like anything flying through the air right now, but you definitely see some people have picked up some paving stones and or sticks. Um, and currently are trying to keep them hidden, but they've been picked up. All right. Then we're going to have to do this now. Majestic Radiant Presence. <laughs> yep. Part the way. Using personal thoughts, because okay. I don't want to be flying right now. <laughs> <laughs> Cast mark might not be the best idea at the moment. Uh, yeah. Majestic Radiant Presence. And I'm going to berate these people and shame them so that they return home. Basically like, so you think you're in danger? Do you? Think the gods have abandoned you? So what do you do? Come here and threaten your fellow citizens. Those who have sworn to protect you and are doing their best to do so. They know what's going on. They are aware that there are problems. They are doing their best to solve them. I am doing my best to solve them. We will save you. Go home. So 
So that'll be a uh, charisma plus. Um, I'm gonna go presence because of the way you're doing it. Um, but you're gonna be taking a negative two for the size of the group involved. I will also spin three votes for impassioned discourse to be arguing from my uh, piece, my defining principle. Ooh. You're really throwing it down here. Yeah. He's done with this shit. Fighting on this side of the wall will not protect us when the evils come for us from the other side. See a lot of tens. Maybe two. Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, yeah, and their they're... leaders have to spend a point of willpower to speak against me. Yeah. <laughs> um, there's like almost from the moment you open your mouth, like people are like turning around and looking back at you, um, and like. There's like hands raised or like, you know, sticks up in the air and they're like, um, you know, oh, that wasn't me. I didn't do that. Uh, and um, one I'm of the guys is like, let's put the fire out. Yeah. And they all like basically march like a huge group of the crowd rushes off to the south to go fight the fire. Excellent. Um, and I think a couple of them might conscript after this. <laughs> <laughs> cool. All volunteer. Yep. And uh yeah, the guards like stand up straighter and you know, like at it oh, not quite attention, but they all look like they're trying to look oh yes, yes, of course we are, we're the best. Uh well most of them do. Not all of them. Some of them just look like a soldier. Yep. Yeah, those are the ones. Okay. Uh Nice job. Walk in. <laughs> yeah, the, the guy that was, like, in charge of this group that looks like, you know, he was having a rough time of it and not getting his word across is just, like, <laughs> just kind of watches you guys go in. A man and his bodyguard. Who is it? Which of the bodyguard? Nonsense. You're plenty good. Um, I always mean him. As you guys go through uh, the palace area, um, there is quite a bit of activity up here, too. Um, you see the stable is, um, and like the visiting area is actually full and has a wide array of different types of uh, horses and mules and such. Um, there is a small group of people outside the door to the meeting house um and the doors are open and it looks like people kind of trying to crowd in as for where the document is yep that's another question that you guys don't necessarily have the answer to nope you know it's somewhere in the central part of the house the question is if do those uh three gods have it with them or is it somewhere else um, it's been used to uh, light a fire. It's useless now. Useless! Can I make a bureaucracy roll to try to find out? That would be a good thing to go for. Um, that would be... Um, I'm going to say wits plus bureaucracy. Sweet. Less sweet. Yeah. Um, it's got to be somewhere important. Somewhere important. That place is important. That place is important. That place is important. Dang it. Mm. I mean, you, you've narrowed it down, but not by a whole lot. So if you can just search these eight buildings and the, pal the main high palace, then... Uh, yeah, it's probably one of those locations. You say that out loud. You don't see energies with that, do you? 
Supreme Wolf specific. <laughs> like we were told that there's a manse here. Can you see it with that? You see life with that. I see life. Pretty handy with trying to sneak in the room. Mm, no doubt. All right, uh, head toward one of the central buildings. Okay. Um, yeah, there's a, a couple of, like, walled off, even from this, the palace area, walled off air, um, buildings. They look like, if, I mean, if they had more space, they'd be like some kind of palace or something, but as space is limited here, they're, you know, built into the side of the wall or the side of the canyon or the mountainside, but, uh, one of those. Okay. Um, there are unfortunately the like royal guard types at the gates to each of these. Oh, perfect. Okay. Walk up to one. Yep. Excuse me. Um, a bit embarrassed. Um, Constantine has authorized me to go to the library. I need some research materials for the job I'm doing for him. And I forgot where it is. Uh, I'll pull out the paper. Show it to him. Um, make a uh, manipulation plus... Uh, presence? Yeah, manipulation plus presence. Plus one because he's got the paper? Um, you can use your one dot of influence if you'd like. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okie dokie. Um, like he kind of frowns at you for a second, but you pull out the paper, it's official. Um, he's like, you mean the Royal Archives or are you looking for the like arcane, uh, let's see, arcane repository? Did they say it would be in the archive or the repository? I don't think really anyone has said where specifically it would be. But arcane repository, it sounds seems to be about right. Well, it sounds more like um, somewhere that would be like forbidden texts and or like immaculate texts or something like that. So stuff that's lore related. Uh, or sorry, like occult related, whereas the other one sounds more like um, where they would keep records and such. Yeah, the archives. The All right, he gives you directions to it. Um, we should go there. Yep, down a couple streets. The streets are getting narrower and yeah. narrower through here. Um, and yeah, you can see that there's sort of a defensive designed to this place yeah. of some sort, but it's specifically intended to be confusing. Uh, without his directions, it would be tricky to find your way in through here. But yeah. eventually you find the um, archives, the Royal Archives. And again, there's um, a couple How are we of- going to the repository? No, the Arcane Repository sound more like occult stuff. Oh, okay. The weapons probably. Yeah, yeah you find it and it's, um, couple of guards but they're not specifically preventing people from entering they're just preventing people with weapons from entering and also any kind of flame mm -hmm. so they're uh, uh so i need to check my sword yep and you need to wait out here or come with me? you need to wait out here or check your sword as well yeah i know that's what i'm asking you need to wait out here or come with me why don't you wait out here? Okay. My body language and subtle cues are telling you that feel free to wonder. Yep. Just kind of figuring. Just kind of looking around. See what I see. Um, yeah, no, go ahead. Okay. Um, so this has, uh, 
it's not like a traditional library where there's just like shelves of books and stuff. This is more like um, the like pull out reams of paper, pull out reams of paper kind of um, system. Okay. Except for that one. Pull that one out. It's got the first little bit of reams of paper. Pull back a little farther. That's the um, library stash of liquor. I'm looking. I'm going like I'm passing by and looking for the old stuff. Um, it's going to be yeah. really old. There is just tons of paper in here. Um, it seems to be official records for literally hundreds of years. Yeah. Um, there really isn't much of anybody here. Um, there is a desk clerk that you know took your stuff, but uh, did you want to oh, ask? Oh yeah, him? yeah, yeah. If there's like a librarian, yeah, for sure. Uh, like spectacles and everything. Yeah. Um, excuse me. I wonder if you can help me. I'm doing research for Constantine on the treaty. Gave safe passage on the road. Do you know where I can find that? He kind of points over there. He's like on the third row in the stand on the end, covered in glass. Excellent. Thank you. It's on the top. I thought you had the original here. Where is that? Visitors aren't allowed to see it. It's to prevent tampering or damage by fire or damage by water. Um. Based on what he's saying in his body language, do I get the sense that it's also here, just maybe hidden? Um, you you get the feeling that it's here, not necessarily hidden, but like in a back room somewhere. In a, in a secure location. Okay. Okay. Well, we'll see if I can get the information I need. Um, I will rush to check it out. That copy. Yeah, they have like a basically a case there's cases on several of these that are important documents um, and one of them is the the treaty of safe passage and it's got you know a whole set of stipulations and whatnot and then um, what language is it written in it is written in Hiram is that one of the ones you have yeah okay and it's got, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. I think it's got six main signatories as well as some minor signatories. Okay. Uh, how, how long is it? How big is it? It's two pages. Two pages, okay. So I can read it quickly. Yeah. Um, Two pages with uh, uh, less than seven. The, the, the gist of it, and to paraphrase a bit, is that a required sacrifice of a half dozen humans um, are required as payment to both the fair folk and the Yozi to allow safe passage. And then the rest of the document is basically signifying this is the definition of a road, this is the definition of the specific road and its specific path, and uh, what to do or where it might change due to like a river washing it out or something like that. And basically trying to prevent any kind of, oh, well, eh, this isn't a road because it's covered in mud. Yeah. Than what I just put there. Yeah. Um, are there any. Stipulations that say, if you do this, um, yes. null and void. If the sacrifices are not given, this uh, piece of treaty will be broken. Furthermore, attacking somebody on the road 
will end the treaty. Um, and completely destroying the road will break the treaty. Dang, dang. I think those are the main main breaking of it. Also, um, there's a section in there that is basically, and this curse shall befall you, and this curse shall befall you, and this curse shall befall you. Um, most of those are leveled at the uh, Fey and the Yosin. But um, breaking the treaty on the realm side basically gives permission to be attacked. It's considered yeah. to be an act of war. Um, the definition of the sacrifices, is that detailed? Um, yes. Uh, the location is um, two, and it describes these... Uh, two different locations? Yeah, there's two locations, one on each. They are supposed to be delivered the day after calibration by sundown, um, or the last day of, of calibration just before sundown. Uh, anyone who is at the site is also fair game, regardless of whether they are the official sacrifice. And I mean, you can't get a real read on the, well, is this binding binding kind of thing, the way you can make bind treaties, but you would guess the main one, you would be able to read something along those lines. I mean, I, I've been assuming that it was an Eclipse cast that negotiated this and bound it all mm. anyway. Actually, um, this treaty has a date on it that is after the usurpation and then the great contagion as well so it's actually not that old hmm. but it could have been a first age uh, eclipse cast now you know if an eclipse cast survived the usurpation and set this up maybe but you don't think that the people who signed this several of which are dragon blooded would agree to that hmm. Hmm. And it gives like names and titles. Oh, um, do you want to know some of the names? Sure. There is for the Fair Folk, there is uh, the Architect of Decline and Irreversible Entropy. Yeah, uh, Mara is for the uh, Death Lord or the uh, Yozi. It's a demon named Mara. Hmm. Hmm. And for the city, the um, the three god, the trinity of little g gods, um, Sinod, Sinod, um, seem to have signed it um, in the same space three times. It's like kind of like uh, you see the letter repeated three times. Um, hmm. Each time, a slightly different uh, color in between white and silver. Hmm. Do I get the sense that this is a translation or an inaccurate copy? Um, make me a uh, perception plus linguistics roll. Uh, you'd have to know more about the people involved to really tell for sure. Or like, not even just meet them, but get an idea of who they are. But as far as you can tell, everything everything you've learned leads you to, um, you know, this is what you've kind of understood from people so far anyway. Okay. So if there's a couple of details missing, you know, maybe the signatories aren't correct, but beyond that. Well, I assume as a, as a copy, the signatories are forged. Um, right. Obviously, that's not their real signatures. Yeah. But I mean, like, the language of the document appears to be accurate and not mistranslated. As far as you can tell. Okay. Uh, I will go back to that librarian okay. uh, person. And uh, one quick question before I press needing to see the original. Uh, do you know what language it is in? The document? Yes. It's an old realm. High realm, sorry. You said high realm. Huh. 
would I need to speak to to gain access to that original document? Probably the synod themselves. I can do that. Thank you. I'll leave. I presume he's gone. Yeah, probably. He, he has to tell you that, not me. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pro uh, probably took off to start looking around. Uh, pretty much it backed off until I was out of sight from whatever guards were there okay. nearby. And then dropped off the map, as you could say, uh, when it start parts. sneaking around. What are you looking for? Um, where all the enemies are, pretty much. Try to locate them uh, and see what else is here. See if I can't find out where where either the manse is. See, there I can find okay manse or um, where the enemy is really gathered. If at all. Um. Okay. So first of all. You're pretty sure where the, well, you know where the synod is. And that seems to be the off limits area up there that is guarded by um, uh, two gates, or like a, a, a smaller gate of silver. Mm -hmm. It seems to be completely made out of silver. And um, there are guards on the inside of that gate. Mm -hmm. uh, they don't look like they want you to ask them any questions. And I'm not they're, they're kind of giving that overwhelming thing of stay away or we might just kill you because we feel like it. Um, yeah. Beyond that, the concentrations of the enemy, as you say, is largely amongst the regular soldiers. Okay. The, um, like, the guards on the royal board. guard are almost none of them. Like, okay. If you see one, it's it's it stands out as being about the only one you've seen. Mm. But largely, these guys also are packing more energy than anyone else around. Like their auras are all brighter. The royal guard. Yeah, the royal guard. They're probably okay. being infused. Okay. There's a charm for that. Yep. There's a charm for practically anything. I bet you there's one for taking a shit. <laughs> Glorious bowel movement. I say, I think that's a survival charm. Uh, I believe it, no, I believe it's one of the athletics flinging poo charm. <laughs> it go, it's, I think monkey is the monkey leap is a prerequisite. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's probably it. So then it's a throne charm. Yes. But with an athletics charm uh, prerequisite. I yes. mean, there are some that are cross uh, ability charms. Yeah, yeah, that's what it is. Okay. Um, so I'm pretty sure that the the whatever it is weapon thing is up with the gods, three gods, people, right? What's that? The the manse. The manse. Yeah, that's with the three people. Yeah. Um. I mean. Okay. From what you would like, let's put it this way: If you had a like super powerful control room, do you think you would leave it, you know, where anybody could get to it, or where only you were allowed permission? Well, yeah, okay. And if it was somewhere else, then that would be the new place that no one is allowed permission. <laughs> permission. But the best place to hide something is in plain sight. Right. Or the best place to not have to hide thing is behind protection mm -hmm. in a place that you think is too too power or too strong to get into the royal family did publicize hey we're sending the hope diamond on a destroyer <laughs> and they sent it royal mail <laughs> <laughs> oh man okay yeah uh yeah I'm just, okay um i don't have really an idea of what else to look for okay um Marking entrances, exits, good places to make an emergency exit. Yeah, you're actually starting to, to, to despite your like 
surreptitiousness. Uh, unless you activate some kind of charm, you are starting to attract some attention. Just because you're wandering around scoping the place. Easily overlooked. You have that now? Yeah, I had it the whole time. I just oh. completely forgot about it. I thought I had the other one. Oh, never mind. You can activate that and be fine. Yep. Because otherwise, you were going to have a tail before you got too far. Yeah. Especially considering the current situations. Yeah, just easily overlooked. Not really doing anything. I'm just looking. Okay. Hey, look. That's a good window to jump out. <laughs> I belong here. I've always been here. You guys know me. Oh, uh, man, it's like the the Psychonauts level where, you, depending what item you hold, gives you certain things. Yep. I am a plumber because I hold this plumber thing. You can never look at the spot. Yep. All right. Um, guys, meet back up. Yep. Yeah. It'll be easy for him to spot me. Yep. Yeah. It'll be really hard for you to spot him. Even though you know him, like you don't, you don't recognize him until he like basically talks to you. Yeah. Even though his his outfit does it's kind of uh, pretty distinct stand out, it is kind of distinctive here. In a place full of gold colors and bright colors, I'm the only dark. All right. Yeah. The there seems to be a tendency to move towards white and or silver in your outfit. Mm -hmm. Preferably both. So, uh, you find anything? I think so. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I necessarily need to see the original, but part of me really wants to. Okay. So, are we going to? Or... It's somewhere in that building. But I could get permission, but I'd have to go. I have to get it from them, and I point out that. Good luck with that. They have some really overzealous bodyguards. Yeah. Oh, by the way, good news. We don't really have to worry about the royal guards. Not too. I didn't really see any of uh, the others here. No, I don't imagine you would. And they happen to be uh, extra powerful, not normal as well. Unsurprising. Okay. Let's get to Siku. We need to start organizing. Okie dokie. Our trip north of the wall. Let's go. To that end, I'm going to stop by Constantine's offices and. Uh, Try to like excuse myself to where I can get some paper or something to leave him a note. Okay. Um, that's going to be easier than actually trying to get in to see him. Yeah. But actually getting through the door is difficult right now. Um, there seems to be a lot of people in inside that building, um, basically having to shout at each other just to be heard. And I mean that's like next to each other shouting at each other to be yeah. heard. But uh. Yeah, it'll take a bit just to move through the crowd, but eventually you can get to somebody and get some paper and then sign it. Everybody, move! Well, if you had Siku here, or if I had a different charm. <laughs> yep. But uh, uh, you know, maybe half an hour, forty-five minutes later, you're able to get to somebody that you can give the paper to, that will get it to him. Okay. I hope. What's it say? I mean, there's nothing indicating well, that it won't. But what are you, you trying won't. to? What message are you trying he to? He doesn't really care either way. Okay. Um, it's basically it's. Uh, I want to go north of the wall. Okay. To scout the enemy. And I'm gonna need permission for that. 
permission access, easy way to get beyond. Oh, and as a side note, if you can somehow get me permission to see the original doc uh, treaty, that'd be swell. <laughs> All right. Be really spiffy, guys. Um, and I will also say I have a theory about what went wrong. Okay. So, uh, what did go wrong? Uh, do you as think we're they walking? just didn't like the sacrifice? Sacrifices? Want to have yellow teeth and they didn't like As I see it, as I read it and understand it, one of two things happened. One, they were late. Which is possible. Two, the sacrifices were the uh, dead folks, and thus were not correct sacrifices. Either way, it implicates whoever's killing these folks in the breaking of the treaty. Okay. So, we either need to go north so I can try to talk to these people hopefully buy some time to uncover what's actually happening mm -hmm. or we ferret out the people here and then go north with captive slash proof okay uh, so option number one we go beyond the wall figure out who done it buy some time come back find out who done it Send them back. Or stay here, find out who done it, go north of the wall, give it to whoever's there. I think option number one might be a little. require a little more, but probably it's easier. It's a little harder, but that makes it easier. It requires a lot more traveling. It more, is more steps, but each step is easier. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, it's like a, a pulley system. You got to pull the rope further, but it's easier to pull the rope at any given moment. Yes. Yeah, I don't know. Whichever one you think is better. I'll we'll have to talk to Siku and our new friends. Well, Siku and convince them to listen to a den of thieves. All right, so yeah, um, go find Siku. He's still unconscious at the home. He's still unconscious at home. You guys go back to the house? I guess so. Siku's not there. And one of your guys says, uh, he went to see a contact. Like, some contact. How much you want to bet that, also, that he's killing someone right now? He went into your rooms before you went. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. I bolt up to my room. The <laughs> sofa's still there. <laughs> um, there's actually a pipe on your bed. A pipe? Yep. The pipe. Oh. The one you keep stealing from. And the sofa's still there, right? Mm -hmm. what, uh, what, what do you do? Uh, you get an image of Siku walking in, cutting him on the head? No? Okay. Walking in, setting the pipe down on the bed. Actually, go ahead and describe it. Yeah, he, that's exactly what you see. And then walk out. Walk back to him. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get Siku back anytime soon. I see the pipe. Like, go to my room. Uh, there's a helmet. The one you got from the... Um, Fancy Pants guys? Yeah, with the... The one I took off the Ghost yeah. General. Yep. Hmm. The leader of the... Uh, sold that. Can I change my bet? How about I bet that he's not coming back? He said he was going to see contact. Contact. I didn't even know he had friends. <laughs> Obviously not. Uh, I'll get a report on where we at, where we're at on 
the business end of things. Uh, and then I will take a quick nap. Okay. Yeah, I didn't sleep last night. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, where has Siku gone? Yeah. Well, that's well, a good I'm... question to ask for next time. We might find out next time. See you guys later. Adios.